Some boys long for Lego, model cars and trains. The urge to kick a football's wildly surging through their veins. With Hamish, that was never quite the case. He preferred old frocks and dainty bits of lace. Aged ten, his spirit would soar, cause he'd simply adore that manly pursuit, collecting vintage couture, swooning over frocks by Schiaparelli. Other schoolboys found a trifle Nelly. He wasn't flustered or quelled, though they frequently yelled, Go there goes Amish Bowles, he wears old ladies' clothes. His younger sister Sarah's a different cup of tea, and arguably the butchest member of the family. Since she was nine, she's never worn a dress, a claim her darling brother can't profess. Their mama marvellous gypsy drove a camper van Till she and Hamish hitchhiked all the way to Amsterdam Childhood chums still strain to understand Hamish used to hitchhike, how'd he get so grand? Collecting beaded old gowns, ancient old frocks with each discovery, his lilac world rocks. Breathless with excitement, fingers twitching. Gasping over fanciful hand stitching. With devilish ease and famed expertise, he'll find in the piles of schlock. Some Balenciaga frog skipped out of art school, so thrilled, so keen. Styling shoots for what he called hair piece and preen. True to form, he always wore a mini skirt to work as a dedicated follower of fashion. Each plunging hemline, each cunning pleat, he followed blissfully. Life seemed so awfully sweet. Turned out he could write and draw with demon dazzling skill as a dedicated follower of fashion. When Hannah Winter first saw his style, he looked gorgeous and his outfits made her smile. With remarkable foresight, she perceived a brilliant spark in this very ardent follower of fashion. She tried to share with him her great delight, but he was shy, so deferential and polite. So in awe, he barely spoke, but Anna could just tell he was a dedicated follower of fashion. When she landed up at Vogue, Anna hired this lilac rogue. It was an invitation he could not refuse. He was gasping with enchantment in his fashion as he painted his flat lilac and chartreuse. Billy Baldwin, Siri Mom, seemed to him the perfect storm of the grace and charm and style he so admired. So he studied every swag and sconce with passion by so many faded legends felt inspired. As he rattled off the names of old and dusty dames, and his eyes began to glaze and she was right. She compelled him to update his dainty passions. Now he follows rappers' outfits with delight. His great knowledge can astound. Sure, he's covered lots of ground, but retains a photographic memory. Every painting dress and heinous style transgression is recorded with precision and great glee. At the Costume Institute, astoundingly astute, he curated Jackie's White House frocks and zap. Even jealous critics thronged to kiss his hem, for it was another dazzling feather in his cap. Scampering round the planet by jet or bijou barge. Nice work if you can get it, as Vogue's editor at large. Crossing several oceans if a party sounds a blast. Nice work if you can get it, courtesy of Condé Nast. He'll try anything for Anna. Anything, yes, almost anything for Vogue. She knows he's game for any larks. He's even surfed with sharks, endured some snide remarks for Vogue. Tried survival camp willingly, though his tent got damp chillingly. Finished surfing camp thrillingly, race racing champ fulfillingly. He's sung for Simon Cowell, who managed not to scowl. He won't throw in the towel anything for Vogue. Wearing ugly climbing boots, even wore a North Face jacket. No bunny Roger suits 
inside Can't forget, might regret what he's done for Vogue Whenever a camera's near one knows Cause Hamish will strike his trademark pose So cunning and quick won't miss one click It's a marvel performed a zillion times At the scene of countless fashion crimes Split second he knows to strike that pose If you observe it closely The effect could not be queerer He's practiced it a trillion times While gazing at the mirror Just google his picture And you'll see that carefully wrought A symmetry He finishly knows to strike that pose If you watch it in slow motion It's a marvel of contortion The hips swing right, the shoulders left And the chin and toes swivel in inverse proportion Don't try it at home, cause honestly You may require spinal surgery Cause he alone knows that reckless Pose. In this age of cell phone cameras, the effect is quite bewitching. With so many photo opportunities, his nose is always twitching. In myriad lilac outfits, we have seen his bizarre aid symmetry. In fabulous clothes, he strikes that pose. A scholar and a gentleman, unfailingly polite. Hamish dazzles in the drawing room, a hostess's delight. But this model of decorum, so engaging and so bright, after one sip of champagne, becomes a creature of the night. It's a Jekyll Hyde dynamic all his friends have come to know. His taste can be so high and yet so very, very low. From Balenciaga's splendor to matters more profane, from vivacious to hellacious, with one sip of cheap champagne, he starts to sway. Sometimes he strips, becomes a swirling, whirling dervish, madly swiveling those hips. Friends have scraped him off the dance floor, barely sentient, almost mute. But at 5 a.m. he's upright eyed to style another shoot. Still looks fresher than a daisy, so it seems quite safe to say. There's a hideous portrait somewhere of the real Dorian Gray. You can also take him anywhere, to some bijou kitchenette, or a palace, or an orgy, and he'll know the etiquette. It's often been said by those who know That Hamish is ginger down below He famously used to get around And in old Tangier they say forsooth He greatly admires the local youth He certainly likes to get around In lilac It's so famously his favorite hue Dash of pink splashed with some sparkling blue color that somehow can imbue a sense of wondrous dreams come true lilac so nostalgic one might almost wish that it wasn't so old ladyish but what can Hamish do it's his favorite hue your lilac majesty at your half century your evergreen You've never seemed drab to us Fifty and fabulous Long may you enchant us all Long live the life